Hey everyone, today we're going to do a little science experiment out here in the garage. What I'm going to try to do today is determine what the optimum uh, distance is on the Mini Trangia burner here. Uh, what the optimum distance from the top of the burner to the bottom of your pot is to get the fastest boil time. There's lots of different pot stands out there that you can buy for the Trangia and you can make your own as well. Uh, so the purpose of this video is to basically tell you, you know, what dimensions you should be aiming for to get the fastest boil time. And I'm going to do my best in this video to control all the variables um, except for the pot stand. So let me really quick run through the setup I've got here. I've got three nails nailed into some blocks of wood and those will be my pot stands that I can hammer the nails in and adjust the, the distance. And uh, back here I've got a huge pot of water, uh, well over a gallon. It's way more than I'm going to need, but I poured it all in there so that the water temperature won't vary between the tests very much. It's going to, um, it's like 63 degrees here in the garage. That water is currently sitting at 57 degrees. So in all likelihood, the water won't warm up over the time um, of the test. I'm also going to be using a measured amount of fuel and water. I'm going to be going by weight. I've got my scale over here because I can measure the weight um, down to the gram with that, which is much more accurate than I can measure based on volume. So for the first test, I've got this configured where the distance when I set the pot on here from the bottom of the pot to the top of the trench is two inches. And we're going to work down from there and do a boil test each time on one cup of water. And I'm going to load the trangia with one half ounce of fuel each time. So starting off, uh, fire up the scale here. I've got it zeroed there with the pot. Um, one cup of water is 273 milliliters, which conveniently with the metric system means it's also 273 grams. So I'm just gonna take the water out of here, the pot, and just a sec. You're going to, sorry, one moment. I've got to re-zero it since I took the lid off and we'll go until we have 237 grams of water in there. I won't do this each time. I'm just running you through the procedure here one time for the future tests. I'll. Uh, I'll do it all off camera. Okay, there we are, 238 grams, so I'm within a gram. Next, we'll do the same thing with the Trangia. One thing I'm gonna do, because the amount of fuel that's in the Trangia would affect the tests, it's dry right now, and I'm gonna burn it dry every single time. Put a half ounce in, burn it till it's dry, and then we'll repeat. So, really quickly here, I'll zero the scale, and I'm gonna eye, do my best to eyeball out here about a half of an ounce. That looks about good there. We'll go a few more drops. That's 15 grams, so we'll do 15 grams. This is just a, SLX denatured alcohol. So each test will do 15 grams in the Trangia. One last thing as far as the test procedure, be, be due to my elevation here, water boils at around 210, uh, 210 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm gonna stop the tests at 200. We're gonna call that a boil. So we'll go ahead and light this up. As soon as the Trangia comes to a bloom, I will put the pot on and start the time. Okay, we've got the bloom there. It might be a little hard to see on camera. Pot goes on. Timer started and I'll be back when that one cup of water is boiling. Okay, we're at 198, 199, 200 degrees in four minutes, nine seconds. So for the two inch Gap, we got four minutes and nine seconds on the boil time. 
Now we'll just run through the rest of the tests. I'm gonna give everything at least 30 minutes here to cool off. I'm gonna wipe the pot dry. I'm gonna make sure the trangia burns out and cools off. So every test will start from the same conditions each time. 198, 199, 233. So three minutes and 33 seconds on the one and a half inches of separation. 198, 199, 203.37. So that's three minutes, 37 seconds, and we're now on the one and a quarter inches of separation, 1.25 inches. 198, 199, 203.59. So that's 3 minutes 59 seconds for the 1 inch of separation. 198, 199, 204.57. That's 4 minutes 57 seconds for 3 quarters of an inch of separation. And uh, that's enough testing that we should be able to draw some, some conclusions from that. So we'll head inside and analyze the data real quick to conclude the video. Okay, as if this video couldn't get any more nerdy, we're going to throw the data here into Excel. And um, you see it plotted there, and I fit a third order polynomial through it. And then we can use a little calculus and algebra to uh, determine what the optimum pot stand separation is from the bottom of the pot to the top of the Trangia burner. And we come up with 1.44 inches, or 1 and 7 16 inches, uh, 3.66 centimeters. So uh, if you're either making your own pot stand or you're buying one, that's uh, about the height you should be shooting for. Um, not the height of the total pot stand, but the separation from the top of the transio burner to the bottom of the pot. Um, one thing to note though, is that uh, between one and a quarter inches here and one and point seven five inches, one and three quarters of an inch, the, the boil times were within seconds of each other. So really, you know, if you're, if you have a pot stand or you make one that's anywhere between 1.25 to uh, 1.75 inches, you're going to be golden. But if you want to hit it dead on, 1.44, at least according to my data and my testing. So I hope that was helpful for everyone. Let me know if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for improvement to the testing. I'll put all the data and all the relevant info below so you can do your own analysis if you'd like. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching.